Salam everyone, hello and welcome, this is Aya. In today's video, I'm going to show you five different mediums that work perfectly with the Graphic Impress Monoprint plate. Also, I'm going to show you how to transform these beautiful prints into a wall art, so stick to the end. First, let me talk a little bit about a monoprint plate. So, it basically, it's used to create unexpected, unique prints and how by you know using any kind of medium usually most people they use paint but today I'm going to use different medium so also you can create you know a collage technique or also you can use a stencil the package I have here is 8 by 10 inch and has three uh, plates there is variety of sizes also it comes uh, also there is package comes with 24 plates Whatever size you have it, you can cut it to any size you would like or any even shape. It's flexible, lightweight, and transparent, and it's easy to clean. Also, there is like a like a sheet that you can remove it. For me, I keep it till you know it become really messy with colors so that I can't see. So I just remove uh, the sheet. So I'm going to use watercolor paper. Uh, I prefer it because it absorbs water. Of course, you can use any type of paper, but if it's thin, try just to give it like give it a quick seal using clear gesso. So I have here my monoprint plate. I spread some water and I use my first medium as gelatos. Uh, as you see here, using different colors, and I'm just scribbling, you know, drawing circles. Yeah, scribble circles, maybe. <laughs> Then again, I activate them with using some water. I'm taking my plate and transfer it to my paper pad or watercolor pad. And with the pressure of the prayer, you can, you know, transfer as much as you can from the gelatas and look at the result. I didn't expect this beautiful look. However, I'm going to add more uh, scribbling. As you see here, there is a water already in the, on the plate. So I just scribble more. Now I'm using the plate as a stand because it's really flexible so I can, you know, reach to these white tiny uh, areas as you see here. Again, I'm going to spray some water. You know, you just keep spraying water and add gelato till you're satisfied and you see, okay, I will stop here. Because as I said before, the print you're gonna get is unexpected and still it's unique. And I really love the look. And just to speed things up, I just dry it using my heat Tool. Now let's move to the next medium which is dilution paint. So with my brush I'm going to add dots on top of my monoprint plate and for interesting look I'm going to use different shade of green. You can use different colors if you want. Now with my foam stamp I will dab the stamp into my monoprint plate to lift the paint up. Then I'm going to stab it onto my paper and look at the colors every time you stamp. If you're done stamping, don't wipe the remaining paint. Just take your monoprint plate and smoosh it onto your paper and look at the different textures and colors. Again, bending my monoprint plate to reach the white areas. Now the third medium is Distress Oxide Spray. So I have here different colors and I'm going to spray it on my monoprint plate. Again, if you have less colors, it's fine because they're gonna mix together. So when I spray it pink and blue, they give me a purple. Then I'm gonna put yellow, green, and brown. For this step, you don't need a, a water because you know, it's a spray, so there's a part of a water inside. So I'm going to take my plate, flip it over into my watercolor paper. Okay, so here's the thing. So I was about to use the prayer, then I said, okay, let me just dab, you know, the colors using my fingers because I, I saw these um, beautiful splatters and circles. So when I lift it up, I really love the look. There was no splatter as it shown, you know, through your, your plate. But anyway, I love how all the colors like uh, intersect together. Again, trying to lift up some liquid or some spray and again, kiss it to my paper. And I really love the texture. And by the end of the video, I'm gonna show you all these beautiful paints and how I took all of them to another level. Next medium, I'm going to use dye inks but be before that i would like to have a colorful uh, background and a white flower so i stamp the flower with a black ink and i'm going to use something called incredible white 
mask so basically it's like a mask i'm going to mask the flower so i can paint on top of it or can spray or whatever you know technique you want to use for the for the background uh, the mask comes with a brush and comes with an eraser so when it dries you can just um, remove it easily now i'm going to dab the ink on my uh, mono print plate i have here oval shape so i want to have this shape transferred to my paper after that i'm going to spray it with some water because this ink the properties of this ink reacts with water again using my prayer and my finger so to help you know transfer the colors and when i lift it up i end up with this oval shapes for me it's like jellyfish maybe so removing the plate and i will end up with this beautiful look it's like splatter or big small dots now let's remove the mask and it's easy you can just use your finger or can just use um the eraser and you will end up with a white flower so the flower will not be you know affected by the colors on top of the mask so the next medium is glitter paste so to make things interesting, I'm going to add different width of washi tape on my monoprint plate. Uh, I just stick them uh, randomly and I'm going to bring my glitter paste. This is a thick paste. If you don't have it, you can use just a regular uh, paste and you add um, like sand or chunky glitter or even you can color it. So with my spatula, I'm going to cover the washi tape and I'm going to show you in a second uh, why. Also, I'm going to use a third color. So I'm using green, uh, fuchsia, let's say, and turquoise. I'm going to remove the, wa the washi tape and I will end up with this clear uh, bathes, let's say. And you need prayer in this uh, step because the glitter paste is thick uh and really sticky so yeah you need to make sure that you know you press hard you know to transfer all the glitter paste if you don't have a washi tape maybe you can use any shape sticker like stars or hearts also it will look really fantastic and by the end of this video i'm going to show you close-up picture to look at this beautiful texture because every time you left your monoprint plate you know the stick or the paste right to stick to the monoprint plate and it will leave really nice hard uh, texture again uh, i supposed to wait really for the first layer to dry out but i wasn't patient so when i left my monoprint plate um i just you know ripped some of my paper uh for me it's fine but if you don't want this you just wait till the first you know layer uh dry now let me show you all these beautiful prints and how i took it to another level with a very simple uh steps this is the first one and this is a used gelatos and I added die cuts and I stick them using artistic tack and I stamped you know my sentiments on the metal next I used a uh, dilution paint also I stamped uh, you know my sentiments and I added a butterfly this is the leftover of the dilution paint this one is a distress oxide I just die cut you know some fairies and feathers this one the flowers last one is the glitter paste and i absolutely love this beautiful texture and i added crystal stickers because i feel that matches the color here is some of my work or some of my experiments let's say uh, so also this is i used dilution paint uh, this one gelatos so as you see here i experimented on a regular paper uh, but for me the result i really love it on the watercolor paper because it will show more your um, your texture so now let me show you how i took these beautiful prints into another level by framing them as you see this is the first one using uh, the glitter paste and this is the second one using uh, you know the gelatas here it is so you can keep it on your you know journal or you can just frame it and this is a beautiful gift to give again thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you next time bye